Good morning everyone, it's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. Today's workout, we're doing a strength and conditioning workout. So we are gonna do a big component of cardio throughout this workout. I'm gonna use a skipping rope, but if you don't have a rope, feel free to do high knees in that component, okay? That's gonna be repeated a number of times. So you'll have a nice high heart rate, but we're gonna superset that with a bunch of strength training, so make sure that you have a variety of dumbbells as well. Now, I'll start you on a good little warm up, but if you're ready to go, you can jump to the number at the bottom of the screen. I'll see you over there. And if you are interested in this style of training where you're doing strength and cardio and you really like that element, click the card at the top of the screen and follow my whole playlist on that. And you can decide what tomorrow's workout is going to be. All right. Mm, are you ready to do this? Let's move daily. Let's start with some side to side lunges here. Go ahead and give me a nice lengthening there through the hamstring in that inner thigh. Okay. Yeah, I have my skipping rope, so again, if you don't have one, feel free to opt for just high knees, butt kicks, any sort of even low impact cardio component. If you want to keep this low impact, that's completely fine. Um, I like to get my little sweat on in the middle of this. So come up, round. Let's touch opposite foot and hand. Uh, yeah, that just makes me feel like I've had a really good workout when I can sweat and be huffy and puffy. I know that's not always what you need to do, but uh, today I feel like that's what I need. So that's what you're getting. <laughs> you get what I get. Well, obviously you wouldn't have clicked on this video if that's not what you wanted. So we're in it together, sister. We're in it together. All right, good, one more here. Nice, good. Let's get into a little squat. Give me a big overhead reach here. I know this is my go-to move for warming up, but warms the shoulders, warms the glutes. Gets me in that squat. We've got, do I have any squats today? Yep, a few squats, so that's good. And of course, a few shoulder exercises. You know I love my shoulder exercises. Take it wide. And open in the chest there. Good. <sighs> Someone said, when I first started following your workouts, I noticed that you had so many shoulder exercises and I was like, ugh, more shoulders. She goes, but then I looked at your shoulders and went, ah, well, that makes sense. <laughs> so, I do love me shoulder exercises. I know not everyone does, but here we go. But they help pop those shoulders, don't they? It's an easy area to injure though, isn't it? I've had a lot of clients with rotator cuff injuries and one lady had one of those big water jugs in the back of her car, which she had a couple, and she turned a corner and one was about to fall and the lid wasn't on properly, so she reached back to save it. Oh boy, tore her rotator cuff. That's never really been the same since. Okay, round up here. Let's touch opposite foot and hand. So I know that that is an area that we need to build strength around. So even if you're lifting super light on those components of shoulders, it's still good to keep it mobile, right? One more here. All right, take it narrow for that squat. And up. I'm gonna go grab my rope after this last set of squats here. And uh, if you, again, if you don't have a rope, we're gonna do high knees for this end of our warm up. Take it wide right here and stretch. Oh, good. This feels good right there. Okay, five more right here. And last one. Okay, so you're low impact here. Just stay in warm up mode or grab your rope or hit high knees or hit butt kicks. All right, we're gonna do 100 skips so you can high knee until I tell you you're done. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, Nine, 
five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, blood is flowing. Make sure your dumbbells are handy, your water or BCAAs, and we're gonna start. All right, your first exercise is that side lunge press. So I'm gonna stand with one knee up, big press there into side lunge. You're here for 45 seconds per side. All right, ready? Let's do this. And press and lunge. Now, if you don't have good balance, feel free to keep your foot on the floor just like that, and then lunge to the side, okay? It's up to you. This is good practice for balance, though. Definitely work on that shoulder with this 15-pound dumbbell. <laughs> what was I thinking? Right off the hop, oh well. I want strong shoulders, so there we go. Lift heavy. And press. Really reach your hips back on that lunge component. All right, wowza. That got her warmed up, didn't it? <laughs> All right, switch sides here. Same thing, just lunging to the other side. Opposite hand holds the weight. Let's start. Leg up and lunge. Going right down to the floor for my next exercise. I'm gonna grab my other 15 pound dumbbell. Okay, for a little chest press frog thruster. Oh, this is heavy. Good though. Last one here. Whew. Okay, grab my other 15 down to the ground. Now, feet are in frog pulse position, so that means feet are together, knees fall out. I'm gonna thrust up and do a chest press at the same time. Here we go. Up, squeeze the glutes right there, flex the chest at the top. Wow, arms are feeling this. Because of the rep range, it probably won't go up in my weight on this guy. Press, good squeeze at the top. Those knees out. In three, two, and time. Good. Oh, okay, set those down. I'm gonna grab my eights for my sumo squat hammer press. Okay, just so I can get that shoulder press up. Wide feet. Here we go, your low sumo hammer overhead press. Low, so feet are wider than shoulder width, facing the front. I drop my glutes low, hammer curl, overhead press. Good job, 15 seconds here. Love all these multi-muscle, multi-joint compound moves. Wow, I feel this. Last one here, boom, good. Okay, let's move to our cardio. So, we're gonna do skipping, and then we're gonna do a jack front punch, and then skipping again. Starting with high knees here, let's kick this up. Here we go. Remember you can opt for just regular high knees if you need to, without the rope.
Okay, woo! It's a good starter. Uh, so you're gonna, you're gonna modify here with the front punch there, or we're gonna jack it out front punch, okay? You're ready. Let's work. Right there and there. Hands are high in front of the eyes. Good. And nice little quick movements here. Not too big of a jack. Just enough to jack that heart up. Four, three, two, rest. Woo, good, get rid of that heart rate down for a second. Going back to your skip. I'm gonna start with a little boxer shuffle, then move to high knees. Okay, get ready. Roll those wrists, here we go. Whoops. Oh goodness, <laughs> I'll be one of those days. My knees here. Sometimes when I box or shuffle, I trip. I don't know why. A little faster, come on. If you're not using a rope, only you get those knees up. This is your chance to get your heart rate up. Shoulder press, side lunge. Here we go. Up and reach. High knee if you can. Focus on that balance a little bit. Might look like I'm drinking iced tea over there. I am, but it's my BCAAs. Just FYI. It's really good, it tastes like summer. Which is coming to an end here in Kelowna. Oh, this 15's hard for 45 seconds. Last lunge. All right. Shake it out. <sighs> Take a second. Okay. Switching sides. Get ready. Start with the press. Let's work. Up and reach. Be super tall on that press here. Okay, take it down to the ground. Whew. I had my best done yesterday on my glute. I didn't love it. <laughs> okay, frog pulse, knees out, feet together. Everything is up, everything is down. The first two needles were fine. So IMS is intramuscular stimulation. And basically, it's a really thin needle like an acupuncture needle going into your muscle and then the hopes is it'll bring blood flow to that area for healing but the third needle like it burned I'm like ow and then I'm like okay all done, done for the day thanks and he's like but I have two more to do I'm like well you lost your chance buddy <laughs> you shouldn't have made it hurt me that oh I'm such a wuss with that He's like, do you have issues with needles? I'm like, yeah. 
Do other people not? <laughs> Hello? Okay, sumo, hammer, shoulder. Sticking with my set of eights here. Wide, shoulders back. Work, and up, good. Do other people love needles? Like, <laughs> is there a, a sect of humans who actually enjoy? Actually, one of my clients, she's like, I love needling. No, we're not friends anymore, Becky. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, anyway, I, I don't notice a difference yet, but hopefully it'll help my hip and glute pain that I'm having. Probably if I stop squatting too, <laughs> that would help. Good job, almost there. Moving to our cardio after this again. All right, set those weights down. Grab your rope or high knees. I'm just gonna toggle my computer there. All right, I'm gonna jack my skip. Feel free to high knees, doesn't matter. Here we go. So it's open, open, close, open, close on the jack. Don't pee your pants. <laughs> that happens. Not your fault though, okay? Just FYI. Good job, just 15 seconds. I need it, you're modifying. back into that jack front punch. <sighs> First stick with the skipping. Up to you. Just want your heart rate up. Ready? Let's work. Boom. seconds work push get those arms up high right by your eyes up. Woo. good good back to our skipping one more round here <clears throat> bring that heart rate down slightly or get going if you can here we go and get ready, Tracy. <laughs> High knees here, let's go. Jump, get it up. Really reach your hips back, come on. You should be able to see your toe when you're looking down. Oh, Nelly. 
Exercise hard on that shoulder. Oh, switch sides. Ready? Work. Side, really focus on shoulder action. Oh, yeah, that was hard on my shoulder. That's good though. Okay, take it down. <clears throat> Prop position with the feet, knees fall out, and over the chest. Work.
Oh, no, that was hard. Water break. We'll be back for circuit two. Get at me. You're gonna do an Arnold press front press. I'm gonna sit for this one. I only got my fives, because you're gonna squeeze in, come to 90 degrees here, press in front, and then back up, okay? Lighter is probably better. Here we go. So in, bend, front, and, okay? In, and, front. Squeeze, and, front. Keep going. <laughs> in and front and in good really control the front press oh goodness that's work I had the eights and then I'm like no I can't front press that you're working against gravity here you see how slow I'm going super control here and there we go, nice. All right, set that down. We're going into a glute thrust with the Russian twist. So get your weight out of the way. I'm gonna grab my eight, okay? So lying on my back, I hip thrust up, come up and twist. Here we go, so up and Russian twist. Up and twist, good. For more difficulty, feel free to elevate the feet like this, okay? So you're up onto your tailbone. For some of you that might hurt your tailbone, that's fine. Up. Do you wanna really come up into that V-sit position then? Okay? Up. A few more here. All right, good. Kneeling position. I'm grabbing 20. You're going into a kneeling squat. So hold the dumbbell at your chest, sitting all the way back down. Sit up, overhead press. Have a good hold on your dumbbell. Low, push, press, and low. Now, if this hurts, feel free to do a squat overhead press in a standing position, okay? If you don't have good knees, you're reaching your hips back, propelling them forward, squeezing your glutes at the top, okay? It's a hip hinge action, a thrust that's getting your body up and overhead. Good, push. Going to our cardio next, starting with skipping. All right, nice. Grab your rope or high knees, butt kicks, any sort of cardio to modify. If you don't have your rope, ready? Here we go. here. Good. Halfway. Come on. Go.
little faster. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Work. Time. Woo! All right. I'm gonna do a scissor jump. Feet. So without a rope, you can do that as well. Here we go. dropping below my armpits, okay? Whew. That's a burn on them shoulders. Good. Three, two, time. Nice. Okay. Going into that kneeling, uh, Russian twist rather. Sorry. Eight again for me. Loop thrust Russian twist. So hips up and sit up twist. Hips up, sit, twist. Or feet up. I like the feet up better. Then I don't have to move my feet after the thrust. But you gotta come all the way up to seated. Up. Are you guys having fun? Sort of. <laughs> I didn't call this a super fun one. But you're strengthening and you're conditioning, so there we go. You're moving daily. Boom. One more here. Up and there. Whew. Okay. Kneeling squat overhead press. I've got my 20 for that. <sighs> Sorry. Here we go. And sit. Thrust. Press. Be sure of that dumbbell hold before you lift it overhead, please. Good glute squeeze right here. Boom. Really tighten that area. If you don't feel comfortable holding one weight, please hold two, that's fine too. Okay, 
Okay, once you hop. We're gonna have a good caloric burn in this workout, for sure. Upwards of 600, I would say. Get ready. One, two, three. Halfway, let's go. Ten seconds. This is a good inner thigh one, hey? Uh, okay, one more skip. Press forward, eye level. If you can't keep it up there, the dumbbell's too heavy. Stick your chest out. Oh, my wrist is clicking. Don't lose your form now, it's getting hard. Last here. Oh. oh my. Okay, Russian twist, glute thrust. With my eight. Work up, down, twist. Okay, 
Let's hit our last round of cardio here. And then a little break. You know, if you only had 40 minutes and that's all you could do, that's good. Great workout. You can do the whole kick and caboodle. Woo, nice. Even better. guys right here so push almost there go Woo! feeling good two one I sound like one of those like cheesy aerobics instructors right now sorry I don't want to sound like that Let's go, three more, and one, and no. Stop it, you sound down. Here we go. <laughs> You're all like, you sound like that, Tracy. Sorry, back kicks. Oh, Shania, high knees for me. I keep tripping on the back kicks. Go, 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 go. getting tired. I keep tripping. Okay, I'm taking a break. Getting my groove back. Do my back the last round. I'm gonna start with a feet up, down, walk. So, Plank position, I'm gonna put my hands on my bars, you can put them on the floor. You're gonna start up, and then you're gonna go down, down, up, up, all right? <laughs> sort of, ready? Here we go. This can just be modified on the floor, okay? You would just do, I'll just show you quickly. Keep going though, you're just gonna come into a bear in, back, back. Keep going, okay? And uh, that'll be a little bit easier. Obviously, on the elevation, a bit more difficult. Now, you should be at full flat plank when you're fully extended there. Okay, oh my gosh, my quads. I'm gonna alternate lead legs here. Good. Yeah, if you don't have a surface or if you don't want to elevate up like that, that is fine. Thumb is down though. Okay, Nelly. Whew. I'm going to grab my lightest weights. You're going to do a pendulum lateral raise, pendulum front raise. So stationary on my right leg. We're going to left lunge lateral, reverse lunge front. Okay, so lateral and front. I'll call halfway, we'll switch legs. All right, switch legs. This is hard. Okay, 
good. Wowza. I'm going to grab my eights. I'm going to do a double pulse or a pulse squat thrust. So, up on the shoulders. Squat down, pulse, thrust. <laughs> I can't even show you. Here we go. So, low pulse thrust, okay? Low and up. Good. Reach your hips back. Bitch. Holy shoulders, Batman. Reach way back. Don't compromise the squat here. Skipping is next. Oh. All right. Well, this last round will be a challenge. I will put that out there. All right, get ready to skip or high knees. Here we go. jumps. Modify here, here, pulse, pulse, okay? <laughs> Ready? And knee, knee, jump, jump. That plank walk-in is coming up next. Wait, skip first. Sorry. Then your plank. Okay. Boxer shuffle for me. Legs should be fully extended in plank, okay? Whether you're on the floor or on a surface. That's hard. Quads are feeling that. 10 seconds.
Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's go into that pendulum lateral front combo. Killer was the right word for this, in my opinion. Here we go, shoulders back. And here, front, there, and. Call half. Switch legs. Stay super tall here. Come on. Right for that posture. Eights for that. Taking a hand break here for a second. Get ready. In three, two, pulse press. I feel like I should lift heavier here, but my heart rate's up, so I'm gonna stick with the eights. This was exercise one, yes. Exercise uh, 12, no. Up. That's it. Up. Woo. Skipping. Wore these pants. <laughs> I'm gonna be sweaty and it could show. Here we go. I gotta remember that these pants are upper body without only pants. Not cardio, hit, strength, conditioning pants.
definitely going to have to uh, stretch my calves out. Okay, round three. You guys are in it. We're almost there. Doing good. Plank. Here we go. If your heart rate's too high, wait until you go upside down, okay? Nice neutral neck here. Look at the ground right directly below you. 10 seconds. Oops. Okay. Goodbye. Lateral, front, reverse, or lateral. Well, you know. <laughs> this one is next. All right, here we go. I actually like this combo as well. Last time I did a pendulum swing outside there, I don't know if you remember that. We had 15 pound dumbbell. Oh, I think it was in that super duper leg burner one. It was hard. Switch legs. This is lighter, feels better for me. Then you're done. You're doing good. Get it up. We can do it. Feet shoulder width apart. Pulse and press. Your tummy tight. Oh, thank God. So that is over. Cardio left. Stay with me. Helps finish off really strong, okay? Fast and furious. Ready? Let's kick it. Here we go. Woo! the shower when this is done. This was hard, wasn't it? Thank you for agreeing. I'll just take a second, because I can talk, to thank everyone who sent their condolences and best wishes on the passing of my poppers. It was very sad. I'm very sad still. Uh, but I really appreciate you thinking, you taking the time to write. That was really thoughtful. You don't even really know me. And your blessings and love was certainly felt, so thank you. Okay, one more skip. 
So let's smash it, okay? Like really, really smash this. Last one. Here we go. dying. Okay, stay with me for a stretch if you can. If not, see ya in the next workout. Well, there's no two ways around it. These pants were a mistake with this workout. <laughs> I'm going to stretch like this today. Okay, let's put one foot in front, one behind. Okay, I want you to really press that calf into the ground. This is a good one anyway. You need to stretch those calves out from all that skipping. Wow, could you believe that workout? Whoa, that was really hard. Um, I'm going to put my hand down on the ground, give myself a nice rotation there. Oh, rolled out wrist. Yeah, that was, that was work. I'm glad I had energy today. On a low energy day, I wouldn't have been able to uh, do that. And I didn't take a lot of breaks today. Switch directions, lean forward. The cardio was good. Do you feel good about that? Good. I'm glad. Um, I definitely wouldn't do this intense like at that sort of workout tomorrow for myself anyway I give my cardiovascular uh, system a chance to root I might do like an isolated upper body strength workout that didn't include shoulders like something like a back by chest try um, workout all right so go ahead and grab your shoelace actually I've got a good stretch for you but don't look down here <laughs> Uh, my physio showed me this stretch. So grab your shoelaces, stretch your quad, push your hip towards me. Then if you can, pretzel that bottom leg up and press down. Oh my goodness. Great IT band stretch. You really have to push your hip forward and hold that there. If you can't pretzel, just feel free to stick with this one here. Oh my gosh, my hair is so sweaty. Um, yeah, this is a great hip stretch. Isn't it great? Do you like it? I'm just going to hold it for a few more seconds here because that is, that's what I need to stretch out is just right in there. Be gentle and kind with your knee though. Okay, switch sides. Holy sweaty. Okay, push your hip towards me. Good. And then pretzel your leg there. Oh yeah. It really works in tandem if you try to push your hip forward. Okay. But if it's putting a lot of pressure and that hurts your knee, don't do this one, okay? That's totally fine. Oh, goodness. While I'm lying down here, let's go into a glute stretch, okay? Good. Let's cross that leg over, reach through. I'm going to push my hand on my knee away from me and just pull in here. Oh, yeah. That felt good. Really good to move. Switch sides and then cross over. Just a reminder to all those who are contemplating our program or our membership. Um, the people who have been involved in it um, can attest to this, but there's a lot of accountability on our six week accountability strength program. You have the opportunity to send me your food log for six weeks every single day and I will respond to you and give you ideas. And let's do a hamstring stretch here, push the heel to the ceiling. Give you ideas, give you feedback, help you figure out uh, the macros that work for your body to stay at the weight that is healthy and ideal for you, okay? Um, plus, you get, every week you get um, an email on Sunday that tells you exactly the workouts that you're going to do that week 
a lot of strength workouts so that you can build lean muscle tissue, right? So that helps your body burn fat and get strong and stay strong. Uh, there's a beginner program and an advanced and a gym program if you want to take workouts to the gym and not follow a YouTube video. But other than that, you get five YouTube videos a week. Again, a lot of them are exclusive, never before seen on this channel. So that part's nice. Let's let the legs fall to one side right here. Arms are open. Um, but the best part, in my opinion, is that Facebook accountability group where we're all on there and we all relate and we're talking about the same things and we can share and be vulnerable. And my texts to you are, I dig deep, okay? I want to figure out why you're stuck in maybe the place that you're stuck in and help you move forward in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. And so we talk about things in your wellness department, increasing your self-awareness or your emotional intelligence or your relationships or working with your stressors to help um, reduce those so that you can have your best life and fitness and body. Um, anyway, so contemplate that. We also have a membership. It's an ongoing membership that you can join and you're only committed one month and then you can leave if you want. But again, you get a private Facebook group. Let's come into stretch right here. Um, and you get weekly workouts, a, like a full week itinerary to figure out, hey, what am I gonna do this week? I have no idea. Oh, it's right here. And there's a beginner and an advanced program in that as well. So, um, and again, Facebook group and the freedom to text me if you have any questions. Uh, all right, good. Stretch this out. Thanks for joining me, you guys. That felt really good. As always, go move daily your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. <laughs> I'm sitting like this so you can't see things. Um, if you're interested in our programs, click or tap the screen right there for more information on that. And for a strength upper body workout that I would do tomorrow, click or tap the screen right there. All right, see you guys in the next workout. I'm dying. Ugh.